Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. King Crosby, second grade teacher. Today we will continue our science unit of properties and materials. Last time you worked on riddles from different types of materials. You also observed different properties of materials and their substances. Finally, you worked on providing evidence based on your observation. Today's activity will involve setting up the glue test. Let's look at this question. What is the most important property for a glue to have in order to be used in these ways? I bet you said sticky. Me too. It needs to be sticky to be able to stick together. When scientists and engineers are interested in whether a substance has a certain property, they test it to see if it has that property. A science test is a way of figuring something out. We'll be doing a sticky test for each of our mystery glue. I'll show you how to set up the test. Here we go. I have mystery glue A, and here's mystery glue B. I also have two spoons, one for A and one for B, so we don't mix them up. And I have an index, index card that says glue A and one that says glue B. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of glue A and take about a quarter size amount and put it on my glue A card, lie it flat. There you go. You don't want it to run off. Put it right in the middle. And then I'll do the same with Mr. Glue B. Take a good quarter size amount and put it on my index card. There we go. There it is. Now, we didn't have any dried beans in the house, and since we're learning from home, I thought, hmm, what other material could I use? I found some dry pasta. So that should work. I'm gonna put my dry pasta on the middle of glue A, and then take another dry pasta and put it in the middle of glue B. While we wait for our mystery glue test to dry, let's work on word relationships. Do you remember one of our full vocabulary words, engineer? And remember the principal assets to design a new school glue? We are on our way to learn about different substances so we can get ready to design the glue. A very important thing scientists and engineers do is discuss their work with other scientists and engineers. We'll discuss some of what we've learned so far. Here are some word relationship cards. I'll make sentences with the words. I'll start with the word properties. It's something we learned from the book, What If Rain Boots Were Made of Paper? Here is my sentence. It's in the yellow highlight. The properties of paper are different from the properties of rubber. Now I'll think of a sentence using both words, properties and observe. Here's my sentence in the yellow again. You can use your senses to observe the properties of glue. Now we'll go back and observe our mystery glue test. If you have your packet at home, you'll find this page on page nine. If you don't have a packet, it's okay. You could just go ahead and read along with me. Part one is to predict what will happen to the pasta stuck to the mystery glue A and mystery glue B. You could either circle that the pasta will stick or the pasta will fall off. Did you make your prediction for mystery glue A and mystery glue B? Good, well, let's see what happens. I know we just did our test, but I wanted to show you the results. So I decided to do the same test last night so it would dry in time for me to show you. So let's go on to our mystery glue shake test. Before I start shaking, I want you to remember to use your senses to observe the two glues and think about their properties. So you remember glue A? We're gonna give it three good shakes and I want you to observe very carefully and think about the properties. Ready? Shake, shake, shake. Now onto mystery glue B. Ready, three good shakes. Shake, shake, shake. As you can see in the picture, there are dry beans. Well, we didn't use beans, but imagine that it's a dry pasta on each of those index cards. What new properties of these glues did you observe now? 
Were the sticky test results the same for both mystery glues? And did both glues show the same amount of stickiness? And finally, do the glues look the same when they are dry? Well, that's all for today. But when we come back for our next lesson, we will work on providing evidence based on our sticky test. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I did. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.